What's up YouTube, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be going over how to do a jump serve, also called a power serve or a jump power serve. When you're doing a jump serve, you want to emulate what you're doing when you're spiking. So I do a three step approach when I'm doing my jump serve. Some people can do a four or five. As long as your last three steps are consistent, you can have as many steps as you want. But the three step approach is the easiest to time, which is why I like that type of approach. You can choose whether you want to toss with your left hand, both hands, or your right hand. Micah Christensen is one of the rare jump servers where he does toss with his left hand. He's able to have just as effective jump serve as anybody else. So it really is about personal preference. The reason why some people choose to toss with one hand is because it allows me to flick my wrist to give me free top spin. So when I serve, it will definitely drop and I can hit the ball harder without having to worry about hitting it out. Some people toss with two hands because it has less spin but also allows the serve to drive a little deeper, so it's like a very fast hybrid serve. Regardless of whether you like to toss it with your left arm, both arms, or your right arm, the principles are still the same. You want to toss it high enough and in front for you to attack the ball like a spike. You also want to bring your arms down immediately as soon as you toss it, and you want to broad jump a little bit to get extra power when you're jump serving. Here's the best way to practice your timing for jump serves. You want to toss it like you're about to spike, do your three-step approach and catch it at your peak. When you're tossing the ball, it helps if you point forward and up at the same time. If you only point up, it's going to go behind you, you're going to run past the ball. If you only point forward, then you're going to toss the ball too far forward, you're going to broad jump and foot fault. There are two thoughts on tossing in terms of timing. Some people like to separate their toss and their approach, so they'll toss very high first, and then they'll accelerate to the ball. Second type of tossing is you toss it a little bit lower, and you toss and step at the same time, almost as if you're rushing yourself. And the reason why some people do one or the other is if you do a high toss, you can exert a lot of power into it because there's a lot of speed coming from the ball as it's falling from a higher height and it allows you just to accelerate and attack the ball. Other people who toss a little bit lower like they're rushing themselves, it allows them to have a little bit flatter type of jump serve which is harder to pass because if it doesn't drop with the right top spin, it will catch you a little bit higher. So I'll demonstrate both of those for you. My personal preference is somewhere in between. I do like to toss and step at the same time, but I will toss it a little bit higher than the second one because I do want my body to explode into the ball and accelerate because I want to emphasize more the power versus the drivingness of the ball. So this is what my jump serve looks like. In general, I recommend tossing and stepping at the same time and kind of puts you in rhythm. The international level, they like to toss really high first before they go. One, because they're super athletic and also they want to generate as much power as they can. It's a riskier serve, but then at that level they want to try to get more aces than at maybe the amateur or the high school level. A couple common mistakes that I see when people are jump serving is when they jump serve, they tend to overrun the ball or they forget to open up like they would for a spike. So they end up generating a lot of power with their back here. So you don't want to change anything about your footwork. Your footwork is exactly the same as your spiking footwork. And if you want to learn more about spiking footwork, please watch the video clip up here. So the same thing when you're spiking and when you're jump serving it has to be the same thing. We are turning your foot 45 degrees and then the last step is 90 degrees so I can open up and then close to the target. Not only will we be able to hit harder, but it'll feel better on your back. 
And you do want to keep it slightly in front on your right hitting shoulder, just like you would for your spike. One thing that helps me jump serve consistently and pretty tough is I try to aim for the second red or the third white of the antenna. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch my float serve video up here and we talk about where that is relative to the net. I like to aim for that spot because it allows the serve to be as flat as possible so it can drop. So make sure that you're contacting the ball at the equator or slightly on top and follow through. My follow through should be forward. Make sure you keep your hand very relaxed and open so you can have maximum control and top spin on the ball. Thanks so much for watching this video regarding jump serving. If you have any other video suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave your suggestions in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.